Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 6, Chapter 3, HCF and LCM. HCF means highest common factor and LCM means least common multiple. Today we shall see what is a divisibility rule and divisibility rules for 2, 3 and 6. See, to find whether a given number is divisible by another number, we perform division and check whether the remainder is 0 or not. In some cases, it is very difficult. So, for example, see this 48 crore 93 lakh 47,561 is divisible by 3. So, we can answer this type of questions by using divisibility rules without performing the actual division. Now let us see what is a divisibility rule. See, divisibility rules definition, the process of checking whether a number is divisible by a given number or not without actual division is called divisibility rule for that number. That means to verify whether a given number is divisible by a particular number or not without doing division, we can say by following divisibility rules. See divisibility by 2. A number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its ones place then the given number is divisible by 2. Now let us see example sums on divisibility by 2. See first question are the numbers 900 452, 9534, 788 divisible by 2, why? See the solution. Yes, the given numbers are divisible by 2 because in their ones place 0, 2, 4 and 8 are present. So the given numbers are divisible by 2. As we know divisibility by 2 is a number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its ones place. As we are having 0, 2, 4 and 8 in ones place all these 4 numbers are divisible by 2. See second question are the numbers 953, 457, 781. 325, 269 divisible by 2, why? No, the given numbers are not divisible by 2 because in their ones place 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are present which are not divisible by 2. As we know, a number to be divisible by 2 in its ones place there should be either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 to be present. Here those numbers are not present so the given numbers are not divisible by 2. See third question are the numbers 452, 673, 259, 356 divisible by 2 verify. See the solution 452 and 356 are divisible by 2 because in their ones place 2 and 6 are present. We know the divisibility rule for 2 that is as a number to be divisible by 2 in its ones place 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 to be present. Now let us do actual division and verify whether 452, 356 are divisible by 2 or not. Let's verify 452 and 356 by doing actual division. 2 table, 2 2 is a 4. So 4 minus 4, 0. Now write down 5. Again 2 2 is a 4. So 5 minus 4, 1. Get down this 2 now. 2 table, 2 6 is a 12. So 12 minus 12, we got reminder 0. See 356 divided by 2. 2 table, 2 1 is a 2. 3 minus 2, 1. Get down this 5. 2 table, 2 7s are 14. So 15 minus 14, 1. Get down this 6. 2 8s are 16. 
So 16 minus 16 is 0. Therefore, 356 is divided by 2. C. 673, 259 are not divisible by 2 because in their 1's place 3 and 9 are present. As we know, a number to be divisible by 2 in its 1's place either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 should be present. Now let us verify this. 2 table, 2 3's are 6. So 6 minus 6, 0. Add on next number, 7. Again, 2 3's are 6. 7 minus 6, 1. Write down this 3 now. 2 table, 2 6 are 12. So 13 minus 12, we get a reminder 1. Therefore, 673 is not divisible by 2. See next one, 259. Whether it is divisible by 2 or not, we have to verify now. 2 12s are 24. 5 minus 4, 1. 2 minus 2, 0. Write down this 9. 2 table, 2 nines are 18. So 19 minus 18 is 1. Therefore, 259 is not divisible by 2. In now, divisibility by 3. If the sum of the digits of a number is a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. See the example, consider the numbers 24, 39, 57, 72 and 87 and find divisibility by 3. Let us find sum of the digits. 24 means 2 plus 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. See 39 equal to 3 plus 9. That equals to 12. 57 means 5 plus 7. That equals to 12. 72. Sum of the digits is 7 plus 2. That equals to 9. 87. Sum of the digits is 8 plus 7. That equals to 15. Here, all these sums are divisible by 3. Now, let us see examples on divisibility by 3. Check whether the following numbers are divisible by 3. Verify by actual division. First one is 12,345. We need to verify whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. So, to test the divisibility by 3 for the given number, first we have to find sum of the digits. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 1, 15. Now, this sum we need to divide it by 3. 3 table 15, that is 5 times, leaves a reminder 0. Therefore, 15 is Divisible by 3. Therefore, given number 12345 is also divisible by 3. Now let us verify this by doing the actual division. See the actual division now, 12,345 divided by 3. 3 fours are 12. So, 12 minus 12, 0. Get down this 3. 3 ones are 3. So, 3 minus 3, 0. Write down the next number, 4. Again, 3 ones are 3. So, 4 minus 3, 1. Now, write down again, next number, 5. 3 table, 3 fives are 15. So, 15 minus 15 is 0. Therefore, the given number 12,345 is divisible by 3. See, second sum now. 61,392 is divisible by 3 or not, we have to verify. First, we have to do sum of the digits. 6 plus 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 9, 19. 19 plus 2, 21. So, 21 we have to divide by 3. 3 table 21 divides 7 times and leaves a reminder 0. Therefore, 21 is divisible by 3. Therefore, the given number 61,392 is divisible by 3. Now let us verify this by doing actual division now. 
See the actual division now. 61,392 divided by 3. 3 table, 3 twenties are 60. 61 minus 60 e is 1. Get down this 3. 3 table, 3 fours are 12. 13 minus 12, 1. Write down next number, 9. 3 table, 3 six are 18. So 19 minus 18 is 1. Again write down this 2. 3 table, 3 fours are 12. Therefore, 12 minus 12 leaves a reminder 0. Therefore, the given number 61,392 is divisible by 3. See third sum now, 8,747. Now, we have to verify whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. First, we have to do sum of the digits. 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 7. 8 plus 7, 15. 15 plus 4, 19. 19 plus 7, 26. 26 we have to divide with 3. If you divide 26 by 3, 3 table 26 not present. So 8 times 24 leaves a reminder 2. Therefore, 26 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, the given number 8747 is not divisible by 3. Now let us verify this by doing the actual division also. Let us see actual division 8747 divided by 3. 3 table, 3 twos are 6. 8 minus 6, 2. Get down this 7. So 3 table, 3 nines are 27. So 27 minus 27 is 0. Write down this 4 now. So 3 table, 3 ones are 3. So 4 minus 3 leaves 1. And write down the next number, 7. 3 table, 3 fives are 15. 17 minus 15 leaves a reminder, 2. Therefore, 8747 is not divided by 3. See note, the digital root of a natural number is the single digit value obtained by repeated process of adding digits. See example, Digital root of 129 is 1 plus 2 plus 9. That means 12. Now again this 12 if you add 1 plus 2 that equals to 3. Therefore, the digital root of 129 is 3. Let's see divisibility by 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it is also divisible by 6. Now let us see example sums. See example, first one is 8430 divisible by 6, why? To verify whether given number 8430 is divisible by 6, we need to verify whether it is divisible by 2 and 3 or not. See first divisibility by 2. In given number 8430, one's place is 0, so it is divisible by 2. As we know, a number to be divisible by 2 in its 1's place either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 to be present. So in the given number 1's place 0 is there. So it is divisible by 2. Now let us see divisibility by 3. See divisibility by 3. Sum of the digits of the given number 8430 is 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 0. 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 3, 15, 15 plus 0 is 15. So, 15 we have to divide by 3. 3 table 15, 5 times leaves a reminder 0. Therefore, 15 is divisible by 3. Then the given number 8430 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 8430 is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, given number 8430 is also divisible by Six. See second question now. Take any three four digit numbers and check whether they are divisible by six. Here we have taken three numbers 4236. First we have to check whether this number is divisible by two and three. Then after we shall check divisible by six. Here one's plus six is there. So the given number is divisible by two. So write down as here. 
See next 1258. Here also units place 8 is there. It is also divisible by 2. Here see third one 1020. Here in units place 0 is there. Therefore the given number is divisible by 2. Now we have to do sum of the digits that is 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6. 4 plus 2 6. 6 plus 3 9. 9 plus 6 15. 15 is divided by 3. 3 table 15 it is divided 5 times and leaves a reminder 0. Therefore the given number is also divisible by 3. See second one. 1258, sum of the digits 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, 16 divided 3, 3 table when you divide 16, 3 fives are 15 and leaves a reminder 1. So 1258 is not divisible by 3. See third one, 1020, sum of the digits is 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3, when divided with 3, we get 1 and leaves a reminder 0. Therefore, 1020 is divisible by 3. Now, let us see divisibility by 6. The given number 4236 is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, it is also divisible by 6. See second one 1258 it is divisible by 2 and not divisible by 3. Therefore it is also not divisible by 6. See third one 1020 it is divisible by 2 and also by 3. Therefore it is also divisible by 6. See third one can you give an example of a number which is divisible by 6 but not by 2 and 3. State the reason why. See the solution. No. There is no such number which is divisible by 6 but not by 2 and 3. Because a number to be divisible by 6, it should be divisible by both 2 and 3. Today we have seen class 6 chapter 3 HCF and LCM divisibility rules 2, 3 and 6. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.